All right, this video is going to be a quick guide to setting up a multicolor print in Bamboo Studio. So let's jump right into this. I'm in the Prepare tab, and over here on the left, this is where the filaments for this project live. Right now, we only have one of them. Uh, we can press the plus, and I'm going to add four for the four AMS slots that I've got. Uh, you can also synchronize the filament with the AMS. I'm not going to do that for demo purposes. Um, but that'll basically take whatever colors you have inputted into your AMS and bring them into Bamboo Studio automatically. <laughs> uh, we're going to do this manually. So we're doing uh, Bamboo PLA Basic as the filament, but you can change that to a generic PLA uh, or any of the other options in Bamboo Studio. So that's what that looks like. You change it to whatever you like. And then you can press on the color and change the color. So we'll leave the black the way it is. We'll make this one a uh, pink for contrast. Uh, this one can be orange and we'll do gray over here. So there's our colors that we're going to be using for this project. Now you just bring in whatever part um, STL file that you want to use. I'm going to use a calibration cube here. So it gets imported entirely as your first color. And then from here, you go into the paint tool. And so right now we're painting with black. Tool type is a circle. You get your pen size and section view. Um, so let's change to pink. Um, so right now we're just using a circle. And that looks like this. It's basically just a surface circle. The next tool you have is a sphere. We'll do a control Z to get rid of those paints. You have a sphere, so a sphere is a little bit different. It's actually painting with a, a volume of a sphere as opposed to just a circle on the surface. So you can see how that kind of differs. Uh, it goes through the material. Here's the circle again, where we're kind of just painting <coughs> the surface that it touches, not the uh, the actual insides there. That's a better example. You see where it, it stops on the edge, but if we were to use a sphere, we actually go through. There you go. Uh, controls at all those. You have a triangle, which is going to select the STL triangles which can be handy on some more organic shapes. For this cube, it's gonna be easier to use the fill tool. You can do a height range. This one's actually pretty neat. Uh, so whatever height you're at, you can choose to, to paint it in there. You can also change the height range, so you can increase it <coughs> to whatever size you need. Again, control Z to go back. You can do a fill. So I, I like the fill a lot. It's uh, very useful, especially for these types of prints. If I have an inset lettering and I just want to color those really quick, really easy, super simple. Uh, if you go too far on the fill angle, you're going to go past 90 degrees and you're just going to color the entire object. So maybe we'll give it a couple different colors here. The gray. There we go. And then once we're happy with that, uh, we can slice it, so we'll slice it up here. There we go, we're sliced all the way through, and then it gives us that preview so we can go through all the layers and see how it's decided to fill that in based on our, our color selections. And if we're happy with that, we can go and print the plate. 
So from here, it's already assigned the appropriate color to the appropriate slot in the AMS because I've assigned the same colors in the AMS as I do in my project, but they're actually not in the same order. So currently three and four are in the correct order, but pink I've said is in the A1 slot and black is in the A2. And it automatically recognized that and changed these for us, um, which is very convenient. But you can also go in manually and change them. So maybe you, you know that you're not using the RFID tags and you know that your orange slot is actually where you put your black and your black slot is where you put your orange. And so you can manually go change those. Um, what that may also look like is if we go to the device and we change this to something that doesn't match to say blue. Uh, and just for argument's sake, let's change all of these. Uh, all right, so we've, we've changed what it was saying is in the AMS. We go back to our preview, we print plate. Well, now it has no idea where anything is and you just manually assign what you want each color to be. So we've just one through four, but you could change it to whatever you like. And then you would go and you would send it to the printer and it'd be off to the races. You could turn off your flow calibration or your time lapse. Um, you need to leave the AMS enabled because that's what's doing your multicolor printing. Um, I like to leave bed leveling on all my projects, but flow calibration can be a bit uh, time consuming at the beginning and I don't feel like I need it on every print. Uh, and then time lapse is obviously up to your discretion uh, if you actually want a time lapse of your print or not. Um, but that's it for this video and a quick uh, look at how to do a multicolor print in Bamboo Studio. Um, coming up, I will do a video about the different settings that will reduce the amount of material used while multicolor printing. Uh, so subscribe if you want to be notified when that video comes online. Um, but aside from that, uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one.